Hello everybody and welcome back to Point to Play Games for some more Detective Grimoire. Last time we were around here we looked around, picked up some more clues, met up with this gentleman here being Harper who is an old friend of Remington, or Mr. Remington rather, mm. uh, and we have discovered his challenge uh, being that Remington felt ill after leaving cafe last night and Harper is the one that served him his absolute favorite thing in the world, being a bog dog, which is literally just a hot dog. However, apparently it had some weird green powder on it. We also noticed and uh, came to the realization that we have swamp juice, and that swamp juice very well may be what we've been finding on the gloves and flippers. We also, inside of a trash can, found a costume design, so it's becoming more and more clear that someone dressed themselves up as Boggy, probably for the express purpose of killing Remington. Our only question, of course, is who? Uh, I believe that is all we really discovered last time, other than the fact that I had no idea that I could do this, and it would bring up every single clue for the location. Um, however... That we may look into more, but for right now, we need to talk to this guy, because, you know what? Something ain't right here. <laughs> That's right, we can also go around, ask people at the Boggy costume. Uh, we'll probably start backtracking on that after we look at the last area going in this direction. Uh, however, we'll ask Remington, uh, Remington, rather, uh, Henry, Hunter, whatever his name is, this guy. Someone made a costume! To look like the creature. They must have known it would get reaction for sure. But I wonder if they planned things to go this far. When you're finished theorizing, I was going to show you these sketches I found in a trash can right next to your cafe. Hmm. It does seem like someone was designing a costume. A disguise, perhaps? I don't know. Try to think why somebody would do such a thing. I don't know. What could they achieve with it? I don't know. Not yet. Great. That was very helpful. Anyways, we unlocked the challenge, so let's get into it. I was told Remington left the cafe looking ill last night. Since you seem to be completely in charge of all the food and drink around here, I'm afraid this is something I can't ignore. He was an old man. His health wasn't perfect. But I'm not arguing with you. I think it is suspicious. What do you think caused it? What do I think caused it? Well, I mean, again... That was super A bomb loud. donkey ate at the cafe gave him food poisoning. I keep all my food locked in the storeroom when I'm not here. You think he was poisoned? I think he was poisoned. Poisoned by me? The storeroom was broken into with a lockpick. You left the food stocks outside the storeroom. I have proof it was you... So I feel like it was broken in using the lockpick that we found. The storeroom was broken into with a lockpick. A lockpick? I've never encountered a problem like this before. But since last night, am I in a position to doubt a claim like that? Somebody knew that Remington would eat a bog dog. He ate one every day, right? Do you suppose this explains the missing bottles of swamp juice as well? Okay, so that's definitely interesting. So we, ha so I feel like it wasn't Harper. He seems a little too genuine to be the person who's gone out of his way to kill Remington. Um, however, definitely can't say that for sure, right? Like there's a hundred percent a possibility that he's the one who's done it. Um, however, it feels less and less like him. So I guess let's just present him with the clues, just for the sake of doing it, and then we'll kind of go from there. Um, however, some of these feel a little less important than others, but let's start with the things that he gave us. It was Mr. Remington's favorite food. That strange green powder isn't supposed to be there. Okay. It's the most popular drink that I sell. In fact, a lot of it has disappeared from my stocks recently. Okay, again, without too much surprise, we're definitely seeing some of the same things, but again... I can't help you with that one. Sorry. Okay... Why don't you show that to someone else? Um... Do, do, 
do you, let's show him. You don't know everything, I'm afraid. Well, it's too bad, Harper. I assumed you did. I can't help you with that. Oops, sorry about that. Realize I'm just kind of skipping. Why don't you show? But it kind of feels like if he's saying, you don't know everything. I don't know about it. It's not really too much. I can't help you with to talk about. Why don't you? Sh That's fine. You don't know. Unless. Hey. Okay. Someone. Oops. 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 Hold on. Go away. I was Stop it. Don't feel like He's repeating dead, things. But he always knew what he was getting involved with. That was strange. Uh, I guess let's ask him about these people real quick. Also, it just it just dawned on me. We did also receive a key for the office from that creepy little girl that occasionally appears. I don't know very much about them. You say I don't very much. He doesn't know much about himself. That's great. You have a lot of suspects on that list. Cool. Helpful. I don't know what to say. I feel like this is what it's going to be the entire time. I don't know very much about them. He was a friend for many years. If you have any questions about him or his belongings, I may be able to help you. Okay, that sounds like that could be helpful in the future. Um, after we go into his uh, office and maybe see if there's any clues in there. You're prime suspect, am I correct? Well, technically, but I'm not even sure he's real. Don't worry about that. Real or not, the creature's the most important part of this mystery. Which one? The cartoon character or the real creature? Exactly. That's fair. You have a lot of suspects. Cool. All right. So, obviously, we're going to eventually have something else that we can talk to him about or other people in general. But for now, we'll go this way because it seems... Oops, actually... That's the way we just came from. So let's go this way, and then let's go this way. And I think this will bring us, cool, to a gift shop. But more importantly, the very last place, which is the gift shop. All right. Cool, so we'll just make our way back this way and get to Remington's office. But first, we have a few things to look it's at. It's a humble gift shop wagon. Let's take a look. Brightly colored boggy baseball caps. Is there something behind them oh well that's only what on earth this thing doesn't seem to belong here at all it's some kind of roughly made costume head I think there's a strange piece of red fabric stuffed inside Two clues for the price of one, I guess. Well, that's awesome. I didn't even notice it. I was just... <laughs> was that actually there, or was it only there after we clicked? Bonky dolls, bonky toys, bonky postcards. Yeah, this stuff isn't half bad. It's a photo of the swamp entrance. Or it could be a painting. There's really no way to tell, you know? It's a framed drawing of Boggy. What a shame, it's not even signed. It's a map of the swamp. Mine seems a little older than this one, though. Well, that's even stranger that we got it from a little girl and it's older than this one. Bonky dolls, bon okay. bonky... Well... Oops. Well, I wouldn't wear it. Maybe to sleep in. You know, n not outside. Hmm. Okay, so we got a headpiece. Uh, it was found hidden. Um, that is definitely a strange lining, and then it was ripped from some curtain. Hold on, I wonder if the red fabric matches with the the curtain in the office. Regardless, we have someone we can talk to. There aren't many clues over here, unless, but I don't think so. Okay. I'm not going to worry about how frail that wooden path looks. Nope. All right, so let's talk to her. Um, sorry to interrupt. I can see that you're, uh, hard at work. You weren't here yesterday. I know. I was in my office yesterday. Did you miss me? Oh, no. I, well, I only just arrived. Are we suave? No. Which is why this is perfect. Did you miss me? You're the detective, right? I'm a detective. So, 
That was your hat I saw blowing through here. Hmm, you spotted it too. If you're good at your job, you may have realized that it's kind of dead around here. So I generally notice magical floating detective hats. Oh, and don't worry, you look better without it. How do you know? Oh, I have a good imagination. All right, it already sounds like she's literally seen us. But let's just go through the standard pieces. I didn't expect to see someone your age working in a place like this. But then again, I didn't expect there to be a place like this in a place like this. I only started working here this year anyway. It's temporary. Just running the gift shop to earn a little extra money. Don't ask how I ended up here. I'll save that question for a different day. You don't seem at home here, exactly. I hate it. This place is disgusting. Come on, you don't think it's kind of beautiful? <laughs> you would say that. You only just got here. You'll get sick of it. If I wasn't here, I'd be stuck in my office doing paperwork. At least at your office, you don't have to bring spare clothes every day. It's impossible to leave this place without being covered in dirt. Challenge accepted. Wow, okay. I can't tell if she's flirting with him and he's flirting back or if this is just really, really silly. Or it's both. It's probably both anyways. When you have a moment free from your busy schedule, I need to ask you about last night. I know, but it won't help. I worked here during the day, then left my gift shop and went home in the evening. Same as every day. You just leave your gift shop here when you go? No, I put it in my pocket. Yeah, seriously though, as much as I appreciate sarcasm, I think I'd get in trouble if I wrote something like that down in my notes. Well look, you've noticed the gift shop has wheels and you're thinking, oh, she's pretty lazy to leave it lying around. But if you want to try pushing this thing through the swamp, be my guess. And I can't lock it up, so I just leave it here overnight. Nobody's ever stolen any of this lousy merchandise anyway. I even left my spare clothes here when I went home last night. You left them here? By the gift shop? Yeah, it's no big deal. They were all still here this morning. Kind of. Kind of? I think someone played a stupid joke, and my spare black leggings were covered in some disgusting swamp slime when I found them in the bag this morning. If you're going to take my clothes and mess them up, then just keep them. I don't want them back. You know what I mean? I absolutely do. Sally says someone played a joke. Sally left these bags in her. So this feels like that this is another part of the costume. And if it's another part of the costume, then that would explain from the black photo. Someone really just like sort of tossed this together last minute. I have a theory that the murderer was wearing a costume. A homemade outfit designed to look like the swamp creature. I've never seen anything so ridiculous. You've never seen me in that. I know it's not exactly the latest fashion, but... No, you'd never see me in that. It would cover me up entirely. That's... that's the point of a disguise? <sighs> Look, detective. When you have legs like mine, you don't want to be wearing disguises. Is that why you always wear those black leggings? You've only just met me and you're making assumptions about what I always wear. And making assumptions is the fun part of being a detective. Well, you're right. I always wear these. Okay, uh, let's go through the clues. We're still missing one person, though. Hmm. We also apparently have picked up a boggy hat for some strange reason. Alright, so we have the full costume now, though. Apparently, uh, it, it feels like we're missing some, like the, the body portion, but... But okay, I mean, sure, I'll, I'll work with this. Uh, so let's just go through all these. Where are you keeping all this stuff? In your pockets? Cool. I'm so happy that we found the equivalent of like a sarcastic 18 to 25 year old. Is that one of your clues? Old. It's nice. You can put it away now. Okay. I have no idea what that is. Where are you keeping all this? Okay. These hats look pretty stupid. Luckily, kids seem to like stupid stuff. You sell a lot of them? Yeah, they're pretty popular. Okay, so that's something. Is that one of your clues? 
Okay. I have no idea what that is. Nope, never seen a map before in her entire life. This was taken near the forest at the back of the swamp, correct? Yes, I think so. Mm-hmm. The water is really clear back there. The legs of this thing are reflected in the bottom half of the photo. It's a nice shot, actually. A reflection? Oh, yeah, of course. A reflection in the water. Wow. Boy, he feels like just one of the most useless detectives in the entire world. Where are you keep- Cool. Alright. Is that one of your clues? Yes, it is, ma'am. Thank you. I have no idea. Fantastic. Where are you? Fantastic. Oh, God. That is not something from my gift shop. I've never seen it before. Well, that was pretty obvious. Is that one of your clues? I have no idea. Mm. They're mine, but I left them here last night. Now, they're covered in slime, and I don't want to go near them. Okay. I can draw a whip. Can you show me? Oh. There's no time. Maybe in the sequel. Wow, okay. I'll just break the wall. Alright, let's ask about people. Her? I don't know why she still works here, to be honest. One murder is one murder too many. Okay. I really don't know what to tell you. Is that one of the others more suspicious than me? Let's agree on that. Cool. He made sure I always got paid, so I can't say anything bad about him. You can if you like. He won't hear you. You should have more respect for the dead. I know. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty obvious. I think the cartoon character. What about the real creature? I've never met him. Me neither. Okay, we've Is that your made new friend? Through. Sweet. Cool, okay. I really don't know what to tell you. Alright, and last but not least. Is that one of the other sus more suspect? Okay, so we're still we're still not quite there with everything. But oh man. Alright, well I guess we're going this way. So instead what we'll do is we'll go in here and we'll run the Test on. Oh, we can also talk to her about the boggy costume, but. Let's see. First thing we do is put the sample of liquid in and tap the. Thank you again. <laughs> so and now, around. we just have to match the color of. Alright, I mean, again, this, this is the easy part. Got it! Now I know what that liquid. I'll write it down in my note. Hmm. Was that? This was the exact same liquid. Cool. All right. Hold on. Let's now. Nope. Not profile. Hold on. Let's present the clue. Let's see. First and. And now. Got it. Now I know what that liquid consists. I'll write it down in my notes. What's going on here? That was definitely the same as the other tests. Okay, what we definitely have here is the fact that this, it's just like the swamp juice is literally on all of this, which is why it looked like no, it was thank swampy. you. That's fine, I just want to present her with these first. If you bring me that, I, again, we kind of saw this you coming. You can put that away. No, thank you. Uh, see, that's the problem with if these you bring games. Me something with you never know when they're gonna. This key is a sixty-year-old journal. It was on display in a museum. I know what it is. I thought you might. I'm supposed to look to the past, right? Lady, what? Oh, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. Lady Weybridge was living in the swamp when Boggy was discovered by the explorer 60 years ago. Ooh, that's nearly right. Is it? Are we talking about the swamp creature? Lady instead? Weybridge was living in the swamp when the swamp creature was discovered by the explorer 60 years ago. Ah, Lady Weybridge. She was living here when Boggy was first discovered by the explorer. Oh, that's awesome. We now have a challenge. All right, let's do the challenge real quick. I've been looking into the history of this place. 
Oh, really? Did you find anything? Yeah. You. You must be confused. You found me today, when you barged into my house. Remember? You created the myth. Uh, you were living in the swamp. You were the original founder. So, no, I mean, the fact is, you were, were living in the swamp. You were already living in the swamp when the explorer came here 60 years ago. The explorer? That man they talk about in the museum? The one who originally discovered Boggy. You know who I'm talking about. His sketches and notes are the only real evidence we have for this creature. You already have his journal. You learned to read, I assume. What else do you need? I need you to tell me if the journal is fake. I think you wrote something in the journal yourself. There's a page missing from the journal. I think you know where it is. There's a page missing from the journal. I think you know where it is. Why on earth would I know something like that? Because you were the only person here when the explorer visited the swamp. I have a suspicion that the swamp creature wasn't the only thing he discovered. You're suggesting he gave me a page from the back of his journal. Or what, that I stole it? Uh, he stole from him freely. I really have no idea. If I could see it, I might be able to make up my mind. You took it from the journal while it was on display in the museum. Hmm. Hmm. You know, this, this part I don't know. You took it from the journal while it was on display in the museum. Let's think about this one again. Okay, apparently I was wrong about that last part. Alright, let's look at the journal just really quickly. And I mean, I'm running up against time personally, but I really want to win this challenge. I mean, granted, we could just go through all of them, but I would prefer to get it right. I've been look Okay, oh, I realize that I'm gonna yeah. kind of skip you must. You found through when you a little Maybe bit, not. just because we did make it this far. Um, you were already I can't help but notice that, that these do you know, move, is, which you is are, interesting. You uh, this page, this page this missing page. because you. You're, or what? I mean, you stole okay, it so I guess the, the answer swamp. really was that last part, okay, I've been was just saying, I don't know, but if I saw yeah, it, I'm sure you. I could figure out why. Um, you were living in a swamp. You will be that Again, speed run. We're just going to speed through it. Uh, there's a page missing. And here we go. I really have no idea. I really have no idea. If I could see it, I might be able to make up my mind. It doesn't belong in a museum. It belongs here, with me. You understand? What if I promise I'll return it after I finish clearing up this mess? Then... I'll show it to you. Is this you? He drew you into his journal? It's beautiful. Sixty years ago, yes. He left the page with me. We agreed the rest of the world would manage without it. I think there's something on the back. What's this? It's the last bit of information. Footprints. The Lost Page, given away bridge by the Explorer, features a drawing of a Lady Waybridge at 20 years old, also features drawings of Boggy's feet and footprints. He has two toes at the front and one in the back. This page proves the footprints found outside the office were not made by Boggy. That is fantastic that's great information however unfortunately we're out of time so thank you very much for joining me here once again at point to play games and i look forward to seeing you next time